You want to know what four inches of fun sounds like? <laughs> there it is! What's up, Mother Foxers? Here we are again. Yeah. We got the old whore in the background here. But, this isn't about her. It's not about Black Sunshine. It's about the Eco Beast. It's about the exhaust system. I bought one three years ago from MBRP, and there was either the four inch or the three inch. And it was what, 300 bucks? And I figured, if it's gonna sound like a ricer, you might as well just go with the bigger one and let it breathe. So I bought the four inch, and since it was huge and ridiculous, I bought a big gigantic five inch tip for it just to top the ridiculousness off. And uh, yeah, here, let me show you what happened after three years. So there's that big gigantic five inch tip, <laughs> which is, I'd like to put that on the other one just cause it's so dumb looking. And then this is the other side of it here, but let me turn this around. So here it is at the tip again. Come over here. It's starting to rust, not bad. It's starting to rust. Yeah, look at that. We didn't even know about that until we pulled it off. So, but then you look at the end here and that rusted off flat with a muffler. <laughs> so there's your uh, MBRP exhaust after some Michigan weather for three years, so. And, uh, you know, it's funny, Car Mob's got, uh, he's got a Corsa, and he says, mine's still fine, and he lives on a dirt road. And uh, I said, yeah, it's the difference between $300 and $800. So, <laughs> and his, his sounds pretty good, man. It doesn't sound like a ricer at all. So, there it is. Or shall we go this way? <laughs> but yeah we got the pipe stainless four inch now on this and i'll show you what hopefully is cool about this one compared to that one there because there was something about that i didn't like i kind of got to show you on the truck about it but um yeah i got some other boxes here give you a little sneak peek with that but yeah, let's uh, back the truck up here. And it's a bolt-on kit. Hopefully that's all we got to do. They say you may have to cut something. I got a five and a half inch bed. They say you may have to do some cutting, but on the other one, we just had an extra piece of pipe we didn't have to use. So I hope that's all we got to do. I don't want to cut any. I'll take you out here. I'll put you down so you can hear the old Eco Beast start up. But man, without a tailpipe, it feels like I'm inside a subwoofer. <laughs> It's warm. But yeah, you'll hear the, the ricer sound it has. <laughs> well, there you go. There's the whole thing from the muffler back and where his hand is right there. It's been rotten underneath there too it's not completely through but it was on its way out but that's all these are man catbacks they come off the white pipe there and hook it up into there and put it in a couple of hook holders and that's it there's another one up here when i was talking about the exhaust the way it came out when i was looking at that mbrp the three inch this is where the stock one comes is i don't know two and a half or something like that and then the MBRP 3-inch comes in the same spot. This 4-inch one came down like this and kind of hung out to the side here more. I didn't understand it when I saw the picture, and I'm like, ah, we can probably, you know, get it tucked back up in there. But as soon as you turn it to get it in the stock position, it either hits, I think it hits on the frame, and it just gets in the way. So you got to hang it. Now this pipes, which is pretty cool about this pipes, is it doesn't come out here from the pitcher. 
it comes out more to the corner of the bumper here and it's underneath this instead of hanging out here on the side and too low it's up and out of the way so hopefully that's what happens when we put this one on so and i'm sure it will be pipes like i said i those guys are pretty good but now we got to go open this hooven box <laughs> well here you go they put pillows in here you get free pillows <laughs> that's pretty uh pretty packed in there that's awesome I know when we got the MBRP one, one of the freaking pipes was bent here. Yep, and no hangers. <laughs> yeah. The other one had them welded on. This one had to weld them on. Well, let's see what's in the boxes. Clamps and possibly hangers that clamp on, maybe? There's, Ooh, there they are, clamp see? On, yeah. Clamp on hooks. Stainless see, pipes steel. ain't disappointing you. Oh, oh! Yeah, look, I got a big, stupid five-inch tip from them. How dumb is that? I love it. <laughs> I don't. What I? Ooh, look at this! This pipes right on it. What I don't ooh. like is it's all chromy. It's well stainless steel, but you know me, I like dark. Maybe I'll paint that. <laughs> yeah. That's the tailpipe. Oh, look at that! They. Uh, they give you a little emblem. It's an emblem. I don't know if I'm sticking it on my truck though. Well, here you go. Here's a comparison on this as far as how long these are. I don't think we need this. As you can see on this little mock up here, how instead of it going that way, it goes this way. So it's not hanging. So looks like we're gonna have to cut a little piece off here right about in this area right here i'll probably cut it a little bit longer and if we need to trim it later we can all right we got her close now we may have to trim something but i don't know we might be able to get it to work like that but uh yeah we'll have to just get in there adjust a couple of things and stick her on okay you're all the way in there yeah we gotta so, turn it like that maybe I'll grab it, that's not the right point. <laughs> you gotta get the other one. Yeah. Ah, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Why do they even lay in the sun? Yeah. They're dumb ones. Yeah, don't leave those laying in the sun. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, the bottom's cool. No? Can you turn that pipe at all? Can you turn it back your way? My way? Which way? You mean this way? Yeah. Take a look up here. Huh? My little shield on my it's spare tire. Me. Yeah. I'm gonna have to bend that down. Huh? I'm gonna bend this evenly here. So hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> they made it metric. Good for them. There you go, man. How's that? That looks better than that stupid thing it was doing, hanging way out here and down. It looks way better. Except for the fact that that's chrome. I'm really, I'm really not liking that. <laughs> that's just, I mean, I got black rims. I painted my side steps black. I just, yeah, that's, it's too shiny. <laughs> too shiny in a bad way to me but whatever I guess we'll start this puppy up and hear what she sounds like
job done. So, yeah, we'll take her for a ride and find some viaducts. <laughs> All right, here we go. Starts up, it sounds like the old one, but we'll get out right here on the road here and see what so we get. I can tell you right now, right away, it doesn't sound like I'm in a subwoofer anymore. <laughs> that thing was just spewing out underneath the truck, man. That's. <laughs> oh, still got that racer sound, but it sounds a little deeper. Okay, I'm about the floor. <laughs> yeah, it still sounds like a ricer. <laughs> it's, you know what? The first video I did on this, on the, the other one, was on the other channel that is no longer around. And just editing that video, I was cracking up so hard because I was laughing so hard in the video because I had this gigantic four inch exhaust on my truck and it was just sounding like a total and complete ricer and it was just, it just made me laugh so hard, man. And I guess I'm getting, I'm used to it. It still kind of makes me grin, you know, cause it's so dumb, <laughs> but I would equate these exhaust systems that sound like this on these V6s to you taking a playing card and taking a freaking clothespin and put it on the spokes of your bike when you're a kid. It's just making noise, you know? So it's not like true, like, you know, uh, you know, girth noise from like a V8 or anything like that. So it does have a bit of a deeper, deeper tone to it, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, I'm happy with it. It's fine. It, you know, I'm so used to the sound now, so um, whatever. <laughs> but like I said, I still get in and when I hit it in a viaduct, it does make me, make me chuckle a little bit, man. It's, it's so, it's so stupid. <laughs> I think it's so dumb. Some people take these things seriously. I just think it's dumb. I just treat it for what it is. It's stupid. So <laughs> but the truck breathes. <laughs> See what I see. Bye, duck fun, guys. Here we go. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. I love it. <laughs> I spy. Eh? There's more. Stay tuned. <laughs> so stupid. Oh. oh, this one's higher. It's a higher viaduct, so it's not gonna really enclose it, but we'll try her. <laughs> oh man. So much fun. I had to do it. <laughs> you know, the other thing it does on this exhaust, I hear it a little bit more than I did the other one, is if you're like going through a neighborhood with houses and stuff, or if there's like curbs or walls or anything, you can really, when you hit the gas, you can really hear the turbos whistling. I can hear them right now whistling. You hear them echoing off the houses in the neighborhood here, but <laughs> so, that's cool, I guess, but. Yeah, for the most part, it's pretty dumb and ridiculous, but <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool at the same time, you know? Oh, man. I don't take it seriously. You got people out there who are just like, oh, look, listen to my ricer exhaust. Meanwhile, I'm the one going, you know what? That sounds dumb. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> 